Yo, I'm freaking out. I'm about to pick up my son. Hey, it's your girl Ashley. Um, the girl who was telling you to budget. I'm about to go pick up a dog. Y'all, I'm freaking out. I'm really freaking out. I have to go talk to my landlord because it's supposed to be an emotional support animal, but I don't have my paperwork in yet, and I just need them not to kick me out. I'm freaking out, though. Like, please pray it's not a scam. Um, I found these people, these breeders online. Um, I asked for pictures and videos and videos with specific objects. Please pray for me. Okay, I'm going to go talk to my landlord. Okay, y'all, I'm a little more at ease. Not that much more at ease because the breeder said they're having car problems, so it's giving scammy. Um, but she did just text me that they are at an auto zone, so maybe I can meet them there and just get my dog. But the housing people said it's fine. Just get their information, the dog's information, by Monday. So I used Sitter Pet to get my authorization for an emotional support dog. Process was pretty easy, but my complex had like additional documents, so it was extra money to get those, but it's still less than paying pet fees. Um, so if you're interested, that's a pretty smooth process. But now I guess I can show you all the stuff I got. I rushed and filmed the video. I might have to reshoot it, but if I'm wearing the same thing in a video, then no, I got that video as much together as I could. But let me show you my baby stuff I bought him so far. So I haven't spent a lot of money yet on him because I'm like, what if he doesn't even like the stuff? So eventually we're going to get my boy iced out, but I'll show you all what I got so far. So I cleaned out my laundry room in case I'm like having to do something or working or something like, and I got a baby gate. Where's the baby gate? Baby gate's over here. Um, so he can stay over here, but we're going to try and keep him in here to play and stuff because I do not want this little boy peeing on my rug. So this is his crate. I'm going to try and crate train him. It is a little big. It's for, I didn't really read. It's for dogs 15 to 25 pounds. My dog is going to be much smaller than that. I got this shampoo from... At home so I got <laughs> at home gift cards because obviously if you saw my video I went there a lot but now that my apartment it's pretty much furnished there's not much more I should get so I got a lot of doggy things from there I got wipes to wipe his paws I got these treats from Walmart the ingredients look good rice chicken oatmeal peanut butter I don't know I saw small dog on the package so hopefully you like these treats but you know Willing to go get more for, ooh, I don't know what that is. Might not, might not do these, might take these back. I have a little notebook to try and get him on a schedule. I don't have anything written down. I have like a kind of like a skeleton schedule, but once we get on the schedule, I can kind of track his bathroom patterns. My sister, who will be his auntie, got him this sweater. I probably won't put him on it anytime soon because he's gonna be very uncomfortable. It says classic. And I got these puppy pads from At Home. It's the only ones at, at home, so. Y'all just don't know how many hours of dog stuff I've consumed in the last like month. So they said they're in Concord, so, which is like 20, 25 minutes away from Charlotte. So I'm gonna set up my car for my arrival. This is Spade. He's a Shipu. A Shih Tzu Poodle Mix. Isn't he adorable? He was shaking, so I had to rub him a little bit. He started shaking a little bit again, but about to take him home. Spade. Aww. This is how tiny he is. He was sound asleep, but now we're in a little traffic. He was trying to jump on me earlier, but I was like, Spade, you gotta stay in there. Bruh. So cute. <laughs> Try to see if he'll go potty out here. Make this the potty spot. He might just be really freaked out. Oh, look at his little face. He's so tired, but I have to move because 
I don't want him to think this is how he's about to be sleeping every night or every time he's tired. Because I keep moving, but he keeps trying to find a way to put his head on me to sleep. Spay pee pee and poo poo on the potty pad. And I think he's very sleepy, but he keeps wanting to sleep on me. And I'm really not trying to start bad habits with my baby. So I don't know what to do. Um, I'm just guessing I'm, I'm gonna tire him out. Like he'll eventually just have to fall asleep. I filmed that two minutes ago, now look. So I've been slowly trying to set up his area. This puppy is burnt out. Um, still excited he's the puppy pad. Hopefully the trend continues. Um, I was trying to get him in his kennel, but he is not like, like being picked up that much right now. I think because in the past being picked up means going somewhere and going somewhere new. So I'm just trying to get him comfortable. Tonight, I'm still working on what we're going to do. I'm thinking of having my pup in the kennel and bring it to my room. So it's about 11 o'clock. I just put Spade up about an hour ago. Put his a potty pad and some wonder. No, he's still woke. He's awake. But yeah, don't judge my room. It's a mess right now. Hopefully we'll go back to sleep. Probably start whining. It's 2 a.m. and we've had virtually no crying. I took Spade out to his potty pad and he pee peed and went number two right when I took him out. He's just so good. He's he's a little fussy now, so I'm gonna like cuddle him a little bit, like look at him in the crate, and then we're gonna bed. I'm not sure if he's ever been on carpet, but he is confused. <laughs> It seems like he kind of likes his crate, which is a good sign. He's not trying to like bolt out, but I think the carpet's confusing him. I can like kind of trust him a little bit because he already went potty. I probably shouldn't be playing with him right now. He looks himself a lot, so we're gonna ask the vet about that. But Spade, good job. He's like, what in the world? Okay. Yes, good. about six and he was whining and I took him to the potty pad he hasn't done anything so he hasn't peed since like when I woke him up or when he woke up whichever around two so I just don't want him to potty in his crate Hi, my name is Spade, and my favorite toy is my leash. I'm going to start, like, stopping him from doing this soon, but try not to be too hard on my bully. Sit. Good job. Down. Good job. I forgot to film, but we were playing for a good, oh. <laughs> we were playing, I got the ball out, and so it was kind of like a fetch, 
Um, I would throw the ball and he would bring it back to this pee pad and I'd be like, kind of take it from him. He wasn't aggressive or anything, which is good. So I'm cooking dinner. My I'm a messy cook, plus I got all this dog stuff up here. So don't judge me. And Spade is, oh, hello. Speak. <laughs> He's like, do I want to wake up? Well, mama's got to eat, so. Ooh. Ain't no way he's about to go to sleep. <laughs> he's gonna say he's fast asleep. He's been asleep for hours, just about. And he woke up the potty and basically went right back to sleep. We played earlier today. I had a ball. He was running around here. He's doing really well with boundaries. Like most of the time I have the leash on him, um, but I've been taking it off because he really doesn't pass this area, which was by design. Um, the baby gate is, isn't big enough for this, but oh, he went back to sleep. So yeah, I've rewarded him. I let him sleep in this. Um, because he's been doing so good with the potty, I've just been afraid he was going to potty on the bed. But we're still going to be in the crate for tonight. Just because I don't want him to be completely unsupervised while asleep. excited <laughs> this is day three but this dog has lost its mind it is 11 o'clock it is bedtime it's crazy oh <laughs> uh oh he better go do something he's not supposed to be doing Just crazy.